Ladies and gentlemen, it's me, James Sweeney, coming at you this rainy Tuesday afternoon in the Big Apple. Where else? But from the balcony overlooking the New York Stock Exchange, I'm full of energy. I hope you are too. I know the stock markets are full of energy, but I'm also ready to get out of here because it's nearly four o'clock. The markets are about to close. You know what time it is. You know what we do here. It's happy hour in the Big Apple. U.S. stocks trading mostly higher this Tuesday afternoon right behind me at the New York Stock Exchange, helped by some steadiness in oil prices. But first, we begin with GDP. The final read on third quarter GDP coming in at an annualized rate of 2%. Economists expected annual growth of 1.9%. That's down slightly from the second estimate of 2.1%, but also above the advanced estimate of 1.5%. A whole lot of percents right there. Meanwhile, crude still in the headlines as both U.S. crude and Brent attempt to hold in positive territory but remain near multi-year lows. Both products up a few cents each. Back on the economic front, there was a lot of housing talk today. Existing home sales figures declining just about 10.5% in November. In other words, not just 10.5%. That's a lot, far greater than expected. And when you team that with a slide in gold, a rise in both Asia and European stocks, and the U.S. dollar turning slightly lower, you have yourself a session right now behind me where three stocks have advanced for every two decliners on the big board. Let's take a look now to see how the markets are shaping up to close out this trading session. In corporate news, Nike scheduled to report earnings after the closing bell any minute now. And Chipotle shares continuing to plunge, trading more than 4% lower at the open alone. JP Morgan downgrading the stock to neutral from overweight, citing the new food safety issues. And news also breaking out yesterday for Chipotle that the CDC is investing a different E. coli strain at Chipotle. A different one. The stock hitting a new 52-week low. And with that stated, kick back, relax, grab yourself a drink, and I'll see you guys all tomorrow morning from ModernWallStreet.com. I'm James Swinney.